in this session we will learn to create a flying elephant so to start with i will start giving the shape to the face of the elephant so uh, starting with the face we will make a egg type of shape for the face of the elephant and you can see i am just giving a oval egg type of shape you can make it completely first of all you can shape it like egg uh, but i am just giving the shape to the trunk that is going upside as it is flying and the trunk will get narrower from the uh, top and we will make this v shape here okay so coming to the body of the elephant we will again create a big oval so you can see right we will uh, erase the extra lines afterwards so first of all i am creating a big ear a huge ear of the elephant and here i am making the smile so just follow the steps because i am doing it very slowly and also i have not time lapsed the video so that you can follow my hand and can draw it very easily so now from here i am giving the shape to the body of the elephant so first of all i am just giving the shape to the body now i will just draw a tail so the tail will be not too long and not too small so as it is a flying elephant so i am going to draw the wings of the elephant so we will draw the wings like the wings of a bird so these will be huge wings one from the front part and one for the back part coming to the legs just watch how i am giving the shape to the legs so this is the leg in the front i am just giving a curve and a leg like it is flying in the sky one more the back leg again a little bended and then i am joining it here coming to the back leg so this leg will be in the front so i am drawing it right from the uh, where the wing line with the wing line and again giving shape to the leg so the legs will be broader from upside and from the uh, downwards it will be a little narrower so i am just giving a, a curve in the legs so just finishing with the line so i am just uh, making them line towards the wings and the ears and erasing the extra lines so that you can get an idea from where we have to erase the extra lines so from ear no uh, not from here sorry so i will erase from here so it is not a, a edited too much edited video so you can know how we also rectify our mistakes uh, so i am just quickly now outlining the whole elephant
आई एम नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद द कलरिंग ऑफ द उड़ता हाथी और द फ्लाइंग एलिफेंट एंड आई विल ऑल्सो बी टेलिंग यू द स्टोरी और द बोंदी फोक लोड अबाउट द फ्लाइंग एलिफेंट सो यू कैन सी आई एम जस्ट एडिंग फ्यू लाइन्स डबल लाइन्स टू क्रिएट अ डायमेंशन टू द विंग्स and now i will tell you about the story you can just watch the colors i am using so i will be using purple and pink uh, for the body colors so you can just watch it and by the time i will just tell you the story of the uh, flying elephant so uh, according to the gondi folklore the winged elephant was used as a mode of transportation for gods so it used to take them from one place to another but one day elephant decided to uh, visit earth uh, in its idle time so when he reached the earth he destroyed the crops and the houses with his huge wings and body the people were very much scared and they called god the god was very much annoyed with the elephant so he decided to cut the wings of the elephant and from that particular day the uh, elephant is wingless so this is a uh, folklore which is attached with you must have seen uh, too many paintings of uh, flying elephant so this is the story so now i am just filling up the colors and you can watch the session i am just filling different colors in different parts of body so the back part of in the back part of the body of the elephant which is uh, behind the front legs i am doing it purple and in the front leg i will do pink so it is uh, important to make our painting bright and beautiful so i have added a uh, done a yellow color on the in the ears and i am doing a teal uh, blue uh, in the wings so if you don't have the teal color with you you can just add um, a little blue 
green and add a little of white in it then you will get the teal color so just completing with the wings So I have decided to uh, make the pattern of uh, tracing memories in the whole elephant. So I am just creating the lines first of all. So in the pink area I am using uh, a yellow color. So you can also use uh, make it with brush or the uh, jelly roll pens what I have suggested in my material list. So if you are not comfortable you can go and uh, for the purchase of those pens. They uh, are really very helpful if you are not very comfortable with the uh, brush. With the brush your strokes will be definitely not very even and that is the beauty of uh, the art form and it is the a symbol of a handmade piece and not a digital piece. So in body I am using white over purple. You can also use uh, the white gel pen. So we have to keep in mind that if the background uh, color is dark then we will do the patterning with a light color and if the background color is light we can do the patterning with a dark color.
so i have decided to show the patterning with the jelly roll pen also so that you can understand that it also gives a very beautiful effect and uh, is really easy to use so you can definitely go for it So here I am creating just the uh, slanting lines. In the uh, teeth, I will be doing the stippling. In this portion of wings, I am creating small circles. The pattern of that mahua fruit and afterwards i will put a small uh, dot with the help of toothpick between every circle Also I am putting uh, these white dots with the help of toothpick in the wings at the origin point of the uh, these 
patterns so i am putting it so after then uh, this i am just done with the painting